Guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here. Welcome back to Fortnite Save the World. And uh, a couple of things we're going to do right now. I am going to announce the winner of the first giveaway, the Gleam uh, IO giveaway, which was for 1,000 V-Bucks. And we are also going to announce the next giveaway starting. So for those of you who are new to my channel, you might know uh, or yeah, you might not know that I am currently doing weekly giveaways. So uh, right now we did a 1000 V-Buck giveaway, which just ended. And in a second, I'm going to pull the winner. Um, and I'm going to do another one, start another one right away. And I'm thinking that you never know one of these days there's going to be a really, I don't know, different giveaway. Uh, I, I can do anything I want. I can pretty much give away anything I want with the Gleam.io app. All right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to um, boop, draw a winner. It is thinking, thinking, and there is our winner. I am going to show you guys right now who the winner is. I can't show you guys the actual process of pulling the winner because it does show their uh, information. Um, okay, that's not how I do this. Uh, there's the winner. Announce winners in the widget. Yes. Announce with avatars. Yes. And boop, there it is. And the winner is... There it is. Okay, so the winner is Emma F, who was entry number 842. Congratulations, Emma. I am going to go ahead and tweet out that you won, and I'm going to send you an email. You've got 24 hours from the moment of me doing that to claim your prize. And we're going to announce another one. And the next win, the next uh, giveaway is another giveaway for a thousand V Bucks. Right now, no one has entered this yet. Uh, I am going to announce it on Twitter. Um, and it's going to be really awesome, really fun. So that's that's the announcement for there. Um, sorry, I just something sidetracked me. But anyway, so congratulations to Emma for winning. Uh, the next uh, giveaway starts, and it's going to be another Gleam IO uh, giveaway for a thousand V bucks. You guys have one week to enter, and like I said, you guys never know. Maybe next week I decide to give more V bucks. Maybe next week I decide to give away something else. You never know. Anyway, uh, so let's continue with this video, guys. Uh, if you guys notice, I have 4,998 gold right now. So what am I going to do? I was going to go ahead and I was going to buy all this stuff. I was going to buy uh, the, ra the rare perk up, the uncommon perk up, the re-perk. Uh, I was going to buy the legendary flux and the armory slots. But I, as you guys know, I like to do that usually like on Tuesdays right be or even Wednesdays right before the store switches over. That's when I like to buy these. So I was thinking to myself, what can I buy? Can I buy myself the Swordmaster Ken? Hmm, I do want him so I can put him in my collection book for 4,000 gold. That's not bad. But I still have a lot more other stuff to buy. If I if I had like nothing else to buy, then I would get Sir Master Ken. Do I want to get Machinist Thora? Not really, but this is what I'm going to explain to you guys right now. Um, I am going to try to get every single event item that ever is released. Now, why is that? The reason for that is because we just had ourselves a birthday event. And during the birthday event, you had the capacity and chance to get all sorts of different event items and heroes, right? So this is the thing. If you really want something, because what's going to happen again, I'm sure there's going to be another birthday llama or something else in the future where we're going to be able to get previous event items. So for me to increase the chances of me getting the stuff I still don't have, I am going to focus on working really, really hard on purchasing the stuff while I still can. So I'm going to try and get Machinist Doris before the before. Did I just say Machinist Doris? I was going to say Machinist Dora, but it came out Doris. Anyway, I'm going to try and get her before the end of the event, but I'm going to get myself Urban Assault Sledgehammer. Um, yes, I just did that. So for those of you who don't know why I'm getting him, uh, I'm going to be pr I'm purchasing him now because um, I you you convinced me. OK, you guys have convinced me. All right. You guys have convinced me. Um, I, I just. I'm going to try him out. I'm going to try him out. Yes, he is an urban assault. Uh, he looks so... Wait, can I... Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, cool. That is so cool. Wow. 
That is awesome. And he's over to the side, too. That's really cool. Huh. That's awesome. I, I was not expecting that. That's really cool. I like that. Um, but anyway, so... Yes, we got to get a couple of screenshots. Uh, and the other thing I'm going to be getting is I am going to be getting the Walloper. So, um, for those of you out there who have told me over and over again, you got to get the Walloper. You got to get the Walloper. I agree. I agree because the Walloper does seem to be a pretty awesome weapon. Uh, I have seen the Walloper in action a little bit. Uh, and I got to tell you, I, I'm impressed. Okay. I, I am very impressed at the, what the Walloper can do. And equally, I kind of feel like a lot of these weapons, they have a little something extra. They have a little something extra that I feel is kind of hidden. And we're not really going to find out the benefits of a lot of these new weapons until they are gone. Not this one. Um, where's my fish hook? I want to look at the fish hook too. The fish hook is kind of another very interesting one. So just to show you guys, if you guys look at these items, look at the fact, I mean, it has flintlock on it, right? So it's, it's, a, it has an explosion. It, it's, it's like, it's like a gun. I'm kind of wondering what is going to happen. I'm wondering if these weapons are going to unlock something else in the near future. I'm really wondering about that. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is, let's see how many much we have. I have I have 370,000 hero experience. Oh, that's barely enough to get him all the way up. I'm not going to work on him yet. I'm not going to work on him yet. And yes, for those of you who have said, um, a lot of people were telling me you could just use, where is he? Uh, was yeah, Skull Trooper Jonesy is the same thing. He's Urban Assault. Yeah, he's Urban Assault. So Skull Trooper Jonesy is also Urban Assault. And again, guys, if for some reason you don't have the gold or you can't get him, uh, always go into your collection book. Always go into your collection book because chances are that you're going to see someone else who has the exact same. So Urban Assault Headhunter has the exact same stats. Um, at that point, though, it just becomes a thing of personal taste if you want to look different uh which is something that i really like doing in this game uh, i like the fact that we have different skins or different characters who have the exact same qualities of other ones you know um so you know i i appreciate that you know i really do appreciate that uh i do want to have that you know um and yeah like someone just said you know um yeah it, it is the fact that event like event stuff okay it just takes gold and i know a lot of people after i put out my video uh kind of explaining and showing you know how to do the uh the storm uh, chest farming i know that a lot of people have been asking me now for a gold farming video and i will show you guys i'll show you guys how i farm gold it's not that hard it's just a matter of time and you can't do it as fast as you do um storm chest farming it does take a little more time it does take a little longer to to work on it but it's something that all you got to do is play. I play this game three, four, five, sometimes eight hours a day. And doing that, it does give me a lot of time. I mean, I can easily get 5,000 gold in a single day just by playing a lot. It really helps out, you know, if you just have a team to play with too. Uh, but yeah, if you just collect all the gold, just get everything you possibly can, especially event items and event weapons, which that's the last thing I'm going to say about this right now. Uh, for me personally, I do think that event weapons are probably the best weapons in the game. If you notice here, I have my Bobcat, which I absolutely love. I have my Tiger, which I think is one of my favorite weapons. The Hacksaw that I've used a lot. Uh, the Neon Sniper Rifle, the Mercury LMG, the Noble Launcher. All of these weapons that were purchasable in the shop. And all you need is seasonal gold for it. So I highly, highly, highly recommend that you focus on those. Focus on the event weapons. Uh, this game gives you everything you can possibly need as long as you play. You don't have to open llamas. You don't have to open stuff like that. Uh, as long as you play a lot, the game does give you some of the greatest stuff. Let's take, for example, the Urban Assault Headhunter. Urban Assault Headhunter is an is a hero that everyone for a very long time has said, you've got to get him. you got to get Urban Assault Headhunter. Or her, because it was only... Um, in um in ramirez before ramirez form and then all of a sudden here we go we've got an urban assault headhunter uh or what no, urban assault sorry an urban assault an urban assault i uh character in the event shop and all you have to do is play to get gold and purchase him 
All right, so let's finish off. I want to go take a look at this Walloper. Uh, I want to take a look at its base stats because I am very, very interested and curious at what it does. But also, I have seen some people do some amazing stuff with the Walloper, especially with its special. Um, someone was showing me how you can bunny hop with the Walloper, which is amazing. I love it. Okay, so there's the Walloper. It's got a DPS of 1548, which is kind of decent for a slow weapon. Uh, it is Flintlock, a hammer that delivers a hefty punch with slow, wide swings. Leap attack, heavy attack that jumps to the target of foe and damages and knocks down nearby enemies. Okay, uh, critical damage, critical hit. Okay, attack speed 0.8. That makes sense why it's so slow. Durability 3. Okay, all right. So, yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to seeing what this weapon can do. It should be really fun. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Again, just wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be doing with my gold. And now I'm back to 500 gold, so it's time to start farming again. Uh, again, guys, thank you very much. Thank you to everyone who entered the last giveaway. Uh, there it is. Again, congratulations, Emma. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to send out a tweet and send you an email. You know, you've got 24 hours to claim it. Uh, and we've got the next giveaway starting, which is right here. And I will also be announcing that on Twitter. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.